One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Welcome to another edition of Life and Style by Kevin Samuels. Again, if you like what I'm doing, go ahead and click the subscribe button on the Facebook, on the uh, YouTube channel, and forward it out to as many friends as possible. Today, we're back with another one from the house of Joe Malone. I'm kind of digging this house here. Um, I've explored it before, but I think it's a great house to actually take people from the designer world to the niche world. Um, as we are getting into the change of seasons, um, we're getting into the time where you can bring out your more deep, dark, rich, sensual fragrances. And it's time to put the fresh, clean, citrusy, fruity kind of things back in the closet. Well, not the fruity, but... but uh, you know what I'm talking about. Back in the storage until spring and summer. Sign for it in a good way. Because it's time for this stuff to shine. And here is one that actually is one of my favorites. It's Jo Malone Pomegranate Noir. Now, it's classified, it's not in their intense line, but it should be. This is, if you are not a big fan of Joe Malone because of the lasting power and performance, forget about it on this one. This is probably the longest lasting Joe Malone fragrance of them all. So let's start out with the notes. We have raspberry plum, uh, pink pepper, we have some patchouli, frankincense, pomegranate, and some spicy woods. So what's that going to give us? That's going to give us more of a warm, spicy, sweet, uh, fruity kind of white floral feel. What does that mean? This, <laughs> nothing really. This is what this really means. You have to go put this one on. Putting it on a card is not going to give you the full effect. Uh, you have to actually put it on your skin. And when you do, you are going to be blown away if you like gourmands, if you like rich complex fragrances you know what this reminds me of it reminds me of if you like wine it reminds me of that first time i really started to appreciate cabernet and understood the difference between the cabernet you know and oh, a red grape and a white grape now all the grapes are great but this one this one stands alone um it is a powerhouse I, will, I won't use the word beast mode because it just doesn't fit the Joe Malone of London uh, brand, sorry. But it's as close to beast mode for this house as you get. So performance, I get eight hours plus out of this. Uh, performance, I mean longevity, eight hours plus. Uh, projection, three feet easily. Sillage, four to six feet. So, you have to be really cautious of how you put this on and on the trigger. This is a great fragrance to wear alone on those cool, crisp nights. I think it's more of a, uh, it, can, it can be a signature fragrance by itself. But this can take on so many different characteristics. You will have fun playing with this. You can buy actually it's just a small 30 milliliter, one ounce bottle because you don't need much. And then play with the crims or the other fragrances. It mixes well with red roses. It mixes great with oud bergamot. There's so many different ways to take this fragrance. But I love it because it stands boldly alone and it's completely unlike any other smell you have in your collection. Pomegranate, just think of the way the fruit looks. There you go. It looks like almost any other kind of fruit you have. And this smells almost like any other, unlike anything else you're probably going to have in your collection. Do yourself a favor. I had not tried it, really. I had kind of glanced to buy it because I was so much in the house to try. But I finally put my nose on it. And when I really took it off the cart and put it on, my, on me, I was floored. So... Try it. Get out. Smell it. Try it. Love it. Buy it. If you don't, 
I don't know what's wrong with you because this is a pretty good one. If you're a Gourmand person, you'll dig it. If not, they'll take it back to wherever you bought it from. Just don't use it up too much. Till next time, talk to you later.